director is always seen as the authority, and yet here is a figure who sort of throws him curveballs because she's one up on him. She knows things. Her sonic screwdriver is actually, although it might look tattier than his, it's more advanced. What's wrong with it? The signal coming from somewhere interfering with it. Well, use the red settings. It doesn't have a red setting. We'll use the dampers. It doesn't have dampers. It will do one day. And he's completely freaked by this because he's not in control. She's wearing the trousers. And also I think he understands that she could be the love of his life. He understands that even if he doesn't feel it. And that must be a terrifying thing. Who are you? Professor River Song, University of... To me. Who are you to me? Again, spoilers. What unsettles him is the level of intimacy they seem to have shared, the level of intimacy with which she treats him is peculiar for anyone in the Doctor's life, let alone someone he, he, he hasn't even met yet. Pretty boy, with me, I said. Oh, I'm pretty boy. Yes. Oh, that came out a bit quick. Pretty. I just notice, as women do notice, something's going on. And she wants to uh, flush that out. Not from a romantic point of view, but from a, she likes traveling with the doctor and this is too important for her to sort of let someone swan in with their old battered sonic screwdriver and lay claim to him. Come on. Uh, action. What are you talking about? You're just talking rubbish. Do you know him or don't you? Donna! Quiet. I'm working. Sorry. Donna. You're Donna. Donna Noble. Yeah. She is the keeper of secrets. She knows an awful lot about, about the Doctor that, that she doesn't let on. Okay, and action. I do know the Doctor, but in the future, his personal future. So why don't you know me? Where am I in the future? I think it's a big shiver, that moment, and a sort of a point towards what's to come in the rest of this series. The Doctor in the TARDIS. Next stop everywhere. Spoilers! That's a rather tempting thing, isn't it? I mean, there it is, there's your future, there's what's going to happen to you, there's who she is. There's a handy guide to how to win against uh, um, various other monsters, you know. Of course you'd, have, you'd want to have a little look. Shall we peek at the end? I wouldn't look into the future. No, I think you'd be mad. Because the thing is, the future's going to come, do you know what I mean? It's going to come whether we like it or not. And if you know it's not going to be good, what a miserable time waiting for it. I'd rather just stay in the, in the ignorance that it's all going to be fine. <laughs> Nostalgia about the future is something that only Doctor Who can do. And that's great and it's brilliant and it's wonderful, it's one of my favourite things, but w the subliminal message is, oh, you've missed the glory days, remember when it was good. You know when you see a photograph of someone you know, but it's from years before you knew them, and it's like they're not quite finished, they're, they're not done yet. So, with a, you know, a stake in the future of Doctor Who, I, I thought it'd be really, really good to have a character who's doing the exact opposite, who's coming along saying, ah, the Doctor I knew, he was really great. So what you're saying is, instead of saying this, the show used to be fantastic, you're saying, oh, you wait till the next guy. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.